Good morning. How are you? It is Tuesday and that means it's day two. I hope everyone had a great out of the gate starting day yesterday. I know I did. Um, like Julie and I said, again, my name is Hope Savara. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the co-creator and founder of Mother Trucker Yoga and we're leading you down this journey of improving your health. And so drop in the comment section. Let me know if you're tuning into the live or replay. You can type live or replay. I also love knowing where you're coming in from. So where are you today? Are you on the road already? What state are you in? What city are you in? Um, are you at a truck stop somewhere? Or are you at home? Lucky dog, are you at home? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Today we are talking about breathing. About five or so years ago, um, it probably was even more of that than that. I have a hard uh, perspective of how far things were before <laughs> years ago. But anyways, um, about five years ago, I was at my parents' house and I started talking with my dad. And he um, used to lay sewer pipe for a living, rough around the edges guy. Like I think you can understand what I say, what I mean when I say that. And I don't know how we got on the subject, but we started talking about exercise and I started talking about breathing. And I brought up to him, well, when you breathe, when you inhale, your belly goes out. And when you breathe out, your belly goes in. And I can still remember the look on his face. And he looked at me with disbelief because he had been breathing wrong his whole entire life. In his, at the time, late 50s, and uh, forced retired because of a disability at work. He was injured very severely. And the look on his face, and he had struggled with anxiety and stress. And so I walked him through how to breathe properly. And it was like a whole new world had opened to him. The same thing happened to me about 20 years ago when I first stepped foot in my first yoga teacher training. And I was inhaling when I should be exhaling and I'm doing all these things. And I was like, no wonder I have anxiety. Um, and so it made me very aware of the fact that many people, even though this is an autonomic response, this is something that our bodies automatically do, I think that sometimes hurts us is because we don't have to think about it. When you're inhaling and exhaling, where the breath goes, it just, you go to bed and it happens, you wake up and it happens it does it on its own, like you don't have to think about it. And that sometimes, that lack of awareness can leave us not utilizing our breath to the fullest capacity. So today I wanna to talk about the importance of breathing. I wanna show you how to breathe properly because that can be a game changer for you and just give you a couple tips along the way. So first things first, just to give you some perspective, the average person takes 24,000 thousand breaths a day. That's 960 breaths an hour and 16 breaths a minute. Again, this is an average. That's a lot of breathing. When is the last time that you actually were aware of your breath? You were aware of the fact that you took a breath in, you took a breath out, that you were stressed, and then it's like, and you felt that stress melt off your shoulders. This is really the first step, is paying attention to our breathing. And the cool thing is that our breath is in completely free. There's no copay, no orange bottle, no trip to CVS or Walgreens. Uh, you don't need to get permission from anybody else. You can do it discreetly, you can do it in public, you can do it anywhere. And so let's tap into this amazingly designed tool that we have to help reduce some of the stress in our lives. But learning how to breathe properly isn't just about reducing stress. It also increases metabolism, lowers cortisol levels, increases serotonin and dopamine to the brain. So if you're dealing with other stuff, breathing is such a great resource for you. It improves circulation, oxygenates your muscles, helps you fall asleep faster, helps your subconscious brain kind of separate from stuff that's going on, helps you unwind, like the list goes on and on and on and on. So how do we actually breathe? I know for some of you, you might be driving right now, so you can come back to this part of the video. I'll wave my hands like this, hey! So you know if you're gonna fast forward, that's where you wanna fast forward to. Um, and so you can also do this while you're driving, 
you're just not gonna be able to do your hands just for the, the awareness part of it. But I want you to sit upright. First things first, if you're someone that deals with stress and anxiety or you deal with just kind of this like <gasps> type of feeling, you're probably collapsing over your lungs and your diaphragm. Most people breathe with about 18% of their lung capacity. That's, here's your clavicles here. That's what I call clavicle breathing. So you're breathing into your throat and it stops here, like at the very tops of your lungs and never goes any deeper. We want to get that breath all the way down to the belly, not just up here. So in the beginning, it might feel like you're casping for air because you're not used to it. Okay, so we're going to sit nice and tall. If you're driving, keep your hands on the steering wheel. Uh, if you're not, take one hand and place it on your lower belly and one hand and place it on your upper chest. So I, I, this is like touch awareness. When you touch something, we become more aware of it. So you can feel the rhythm of your breath. If you want to close your eyes, you're more than welcome to, but again, if you're driving, don't close your eyes. <laughs> All right, so on a nice big breath in, I want you to press your belly out, relax your muscles, and just make your belly nice and big. I always joke with my kids that it's like you're making your belly big like Santa Claus, and then that last moment, you might feel that chest rise. It's kind of like a wave. And when you exhale, I want you to let all the air out. So you're drawing your belly in, your chest is collapsing down. One may happen before the other. The order doesn't matter on that out breath. And then you're gonna do the same thing again. So inhaling, belly gets nice and big. I'm inflating like a balloon. And I'm taking that breath and I'm expanding, expanding, expanding. And I'm feeling my upper hand rise up. And then exhaling, I'm trying to move that air out. And I'm drawing my belly in. So remember, breathing is an exchange. I can only take in as much air as I push out. So for some of you, at the end of that exhalation, you might need to kind of push out the leftovers uh, those first couple times. Breathing also uses muscles. So when I go through deep breathing with people, when I taught a lot of yoga in my day, people would feel sore in their ribs because we're using those muscles and we haven't used them before. And so today, today, I want you to practice deep breathing. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to inhale through the nose for four counts, just four counts. It'll be like this, one, two, three, four. And then I want you to exhale. If you need to exhale through the mouth, that's fine. We nose breathe in yoga because it keeps the mind calmer um, and it keeps the body heated, which is good internally and we want to exhale for at least four up to eight so there's there's actually science behind doubling the exhalation to help induce relaxation and calm and and, and so on and so forth so um, at least a four and four count breath uh, especially if you're short on your exhale but I want you to work up to an inhale for four and exhale for eight if you start feeling <gasps> I want you to shorten up that exhale Okay, it's a muscle. You gotta work those muscles. But inhale for four, exhale for eight. It's almost like a rhythm, like a trance. You can talk yourself through it. Talk yourself through the one, two, three, four, and then talk yourself through the exhalation. The idea too is that you're focusing your mind on one thing. And we all know that in a world we live in today, the glorification of multitasking leaves us feeling anxious and stressed. So utilizing this breathing technique, when can you do it? You can do it while driving in the truck. Besides doing some yoga in the truck, I mean, what else do you do? You, of course, breathe. I mean, come on, you're already doing it. Now we're gonna do it consciously. So while you're driving, I love doing it when I go to bed at night. One hand on the belly, one hand on the chest, especially if I can't fall asleep and it just like whisks me off to Neverland. So I can do it when I go to bed at night. I can do a couple deep breaths when I wake up in the morning. It's like waking up your system. And I can do those deep breathing practices when I'm starting to feel stressed, when I'm starting to feel anxious, when I'm like, ooh, I really wanna eat that whatever and I'm, I shouldn't, I'm gonna do some deep breathing and then make that decision. So today I want you for at least one minute straight, that's 60 seconds, 16 breaths, roughly, 
too deep breath. Where you are consciously calling time out on whatever it is you're doing and you are focusing on deep breathing. You may feel a little anxious even before you do that because now you're doing it. But I promise you, you do this more regularly. You pay attention to your breathing more regularly during the day. You are going to notice such a difference. We are going to be giving you some deliverables, some, some help and assistance with helping you with breathing and meditation along the way here. So stay tuned for that. But today, today, my friends, remember, breathing is absolutely free. Don't wait until your last breath to decide that it's important. Don't wait until tomorrow to say, you know, I should really try that breathing thing, but I'm kind of busy today. <laughs> Don't wait until you want that breath to be of value to your life to decide to try to take it. That day can be today, okay? That day can be today. I hope that this was helpful for you. Let's go strong day two. Post your wins in this group. We're here to support you. I do my best to try to comment on every single post that I see. Sometimes I miss them, so I apologize. But we will be seeing you on the flip side. Julie will be coming live tomorrow. But get your breathing in. Just a minute. I'm just asking you to do one minute. That's it. And hopefully from there we can build a great foundation of you, my friend, being more conscious of your breath. Bye-bye.